Hello and welcome to episode ten of the Queer and Polyam Colony. Let's go see how our colonists are doing at their Rainy Mountain base. Spring has sprung in our world. The Rainy Mountain Forest base, nestled among the Free Shoulder Mountains, Reindeer Swamp, Woodpecker Bush and the far magpie forest. Spring has finally arrived in the colony, which is great. We can finally start to grow things. The animals will start returning to the area now that it's not so cold, now that the snow is melting, revealing some grass to be eaten, etc. Um, maybe eventually we'll even have some animals of our own because so far uh, we just have our pet burgundy who keeps getting hurt because she is going out and doing some hunting of her own. So she's had quite a few health problems, poor thing. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna restrict her to, to the base soon so that she doesn't go do her own hunting. We're making you some kibble. Uh, you can just... So let's see what happens. Oh, let's see what happens with this Arctic Wolf Revenge. Okay, is it because Emerald is hunting? Yes, it is. Oh, and we've got another wolf nearby. That's okay. M is very, very good at shooting now. So she will be okay. Although it is raining. Which seems to have quite the effect. As we have observed previously. There we go, that's better. There we go, thanks Emeralds. Why don't you bring that on home? Lyric can butcher it, cook it on up. Our heat problems have mostly been resolved and as the temperature rises, it will be even better. We will be able to dismantle this campfire and not have an indoor campfire. I think that's the last one, yes. Great. So that'll be lovely. And then we'll just have this little outdoor courtyard that I really love. Um, our power issues have been mostly resolved as well. We've got a fairly steady power supply with these three turbines here. And we also have now have batteries, which is really, really helpful. Um, we've got some plans to expand the colony. I've got some... Oh! I did it again. I totally did it again. There's a raid and I totally forgot about it. I keep doing that. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, there's raiders down here. Are there raiders anywhere else on the map? I'm like leisurely starting the episode. Em was even down here hunting and I was like, la la la. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, yeah, we have a raid. I totally forgot that that happened at the very end of last episode. And it had already been quite a long time. Uh, that I'd been recording, so I said I'll leave it till next time. And I may have even said I'll probably forget because I always do that. Um, I should start putting it in the save file name, like Queer Polyam Colony, RAID, all caps. Um, I have done that before <laughs> with other saves for other colonies, so I may try that. Okay, so we have four uh, raiders attacking here. They have decent weapons, um, kind of similar to the level of our own, although the quality is less. So we'll get everyone ready and try to meet them kind of at the edge of one of these huge swamps so we can start shooting across the swamp at them. Too bad it's still rainy. That will really make it difficult to get them. Um, Emerald, instead of continuing to haul, this um, wolf that you just got, we're going to send you back out in the rain to shoot yet again. The raiders are coming in quite quickly. I don't think we'll be able to get them across from this um, swampy area, so we'll maybe try to meet here instead. Oh, that's going to be a long way around for Rose over there. But the rest of them will make it there in time. Amelia is slowly making her way across another swamp, though. Okay, we've got a few. Oh, that other raider has a machine gun. That sucks. Okay, Rose and Amelia are on their way. 
see what we can do. Okay, what does this guy have? Just a knife. Okay. What does this guy have? Machine pistol. Okay, I'll stay where I am for now. Uh, but as this little knife guy starts coming, we'll have to start retreating. And we'll continue to retreat. Uh, which direction do we want to go? Maybe up this way? Yeah, let's head in this general vicinity. We'll kind of force their hand. We'll force them to come on up a little closer. Uh-oh, careful! Emerald, keep going! No! This guy was good with a knife, apparently. Oh, man, not even! How did you get her, Kemp? You suck! And she had armor! Oh my goodness! Unfortunately, Amelia only has a bow and arrow, which is not great. Uh, let's move you back within range here. Oh, and M doesn't have the gun that has the long range. I wonder if I should make Amelia equip that. Do that. We need that distance, you know? Otherwise they can get us, but we can't get them. There we go. Okay, now retreat again. Oh good, they're fleeing. Okay, it's just this guy with his um, rifle. Hurdle is in pain shock. I don't think we're going to capture any of these guys because they belong to ethical ideology, which are like raider supremacists. So they get upset and sad if you don't do raiding, which I don't do. So they're just going to end up being sad. Um, I don't think it's worth really chasing this guy down. I think I'd rather grab emerald and go patch up her wounds oh my goodness holy cow she really took the brunt of this that is very very bad i think rose is our medical professional so let's make her save uh emerald we've got our hospital we've got meds nearby amazing all right rose do your thing actually stay drafted because yeah Let's try to protect. Amelia, you try to protect. Um, Blitz, you go recover because you're hurt. Can you self-tend? You should be able to self-tend. Maybe head over that way first. Lyric, why don't you come and kind of help protect as well? Okay, let's see what we can do to grab Emerald and get out of there without getting hurt. Okay, good. Looking good. All right, Amelia and Lyric, why don't you chase a little farther? If we can get him and then he doesn't come back, that would be awesome. Okay, Lyric, I don't know if you're going to get close enough to get within range. No, he is quick. I really don't like you. Eric Costless. Man. Oh, he's high on Yayo. That's why he's moving so fast. Darn it. Okay, we will let you escape today, but if you ever come back, you had better watch out, buddy, because you've hurt one of our own. Okay, we'll have Blitz tend to himself. And we're going to have Rose tend to Emerald, her ex-girlfriend. Sadly, they broke up. We're using our one Glitter World medicine, it is well worth it because, wow, Emerald is very, very hurt. Okay, five hours. That's better. We have a merchant coming in, so I guess whoever is healthy enough to trade will get to trade with them. Maybe we can get some better weapons. Maybe we can sell some of our junk clothes and junk weapons. Uh, why is A tending to Emerald, and why is he going so far away? 
Did we run out of herbal meds? We did, and Rose needed to eat. I mean, I suppose she's stabilized enough? A, are you a decent doctor? Okay, I'll allow it. You're also a jogger, so you'll be able to get there fast. Our dog is finally healed, so now we just have to allow Blitz and Emerald to get patched up from the raid. Lyric is gonna trade with this merchant that's coming in. Okay, let's see what we can trade. Definitely get rid of our go juice. Oh, there's not much. There's really not much. They've got some instruments. Shock Lance, Insanity Lance, Organ. Can't trade A away. Donkeys. They have alpacas. I think we'll try to tame our own. Yeah, although... Do we, would we want to spend 842 bucks to get one male, one female alpaca? We don't have a fenced in area, but we could throw up a, um, a pen marker in our courtyard and that would suffice for the time being. You know, I think it's worth it. Then we'd start getting alpaca wool and we'd at least start our animal collection. I'm going to go for it. We have, you know, a fair amount of money. It's decent, and we're selling a couple go juice to offset the cost, so it's going to be less than 800. Yeah, let's do it. I don't think there's really anything else worth um, buying or trading for now, so we'll we'll get the alpaca. There we go. Lyric has dismissed the trader. She's going to build a little pen marker here. Throw some extra wood towards these walls. This is going to be some future bedrooms. I've got Rose putting a wall to trap this um, mega sloth in here. Yeah, I think it worked. I think it's fully trapped now. So unless someone lets it out by going in and out of a door, um, this mega, mega sloth can be trapped here. And then we won't have to hunt it. Hopefully it'll just die of starvation. I know that's terribly cruel, but... Um, we're pretty desperate for meat, and our hunter, Emerald, is out of commission. Alright, so we can have animals here. Let's have someone bring them in, and hopefully some grass will grow, or at least we can contain them there until we can build them uh, a pen somewhere. Nice. Oh, it's not quite counted as enclosed because we had put the door... Um, for some reason we took the door out. I totally forget why. Put another door in there. There we go. Our courtyard is now enclosed. Let's grab the alpaca. Get them out of Lyric's bedroom. Thank you very much. Poor Lyric. Cute. They're adorable. Okay, so we have one male, one female alpaca, which hopefully will mean baby alpacas. Let's give them some names. I feel like calling you Emily, which I think I've probably done before. I may have even have had a person called that, but that's fine. And I think I'll call this one Alec. There we go, Alec and Emily. Make us some baby llamas. Or make us some baby alpacas, please. Also, we would like you to grow your wool, but we will try to feed you better. Let's make a like let's make a pen somewhere. Hey, cool, we got a silver ore meteorite right there. Also, we're getting a psychic drone for the male colonists, or the officially male colonists. Unfortunately, Blitz is NB, but has to have male here um, because RimWorld doesn't allow us to add NB uh, instead, which is too bad. Perhaps that will change. Perhaps there is a mod out there, and I should perhaps check for such a mod. If anyone has heard of such a mod, please let me know in the comments. Okay, Emerald is no longer incapable of walking. That's awesome. We've detected a hunting worksite nearby. Meh. Um, we may do go do a little caravan and see what's out there, but with only five colonists and one slave, uh, we don't really want to be sending, you know, half of those people out caravanning quite yet. 
Uh, also, we have a pen planned for the alpaca. Uh, this nice area here should be nice and big. Get some grass growing in there. And we can do a nice little wall along here to enclose this area and kind of provide a whole protected top front of this mountain range, which is quite cool. And then uh, with all this kind of um, rough marble and slate, that might make a cool area to have uh, a temple of some sort. If we can, you know, wall it in a little more and maybe uh, smooth out those floors, that might be an interesting looking temple, especially with the two different kinds of stone. Emerald has so many bandages. <laughs> oh my god. You poor thing. I hope most of these heal. Like, I hope you're not, like, missing anything important. Like, poor Amelia. I've had to, like, confine her to the base area because her leg got bitten off. She was only moving at half speed. Uh, instead of cleaning, why don't you do some planting? Thank you. Oh, also, we have to keep working on converting you because you're this stupid ideology. Yay, Emily! Congrats, you took me seriously. You got pregnant very fast. Thank you. Uh, how long do baby alpacas take? <laughs> A few days, I think. Nice. We will build an alpaca army before you know it. Yeah, so Amelia is, is going to be quite cranky for a while um, because this whole no recent conquest, which she basically arrived with, which is totally not fair to us because that's not our fault. I think the timers shouldn't start before you even get to us. We're hanging out somewhere else. Hey, there's some buffalo on the map. Now, here is the question. Do we tame them or do we hunt them or try to do both? Because we desperately need meat. There aren't that many animals on the map. You know what? Let's try to tame the muffalo and hunt the ram and doe. That's better. And the arctic wolf. Okay, let's do that. And we'll pick a, a few muffalo to try to tame. Especially now that we're going to have a pen. Too bad our animal handler and tamer is not up for going very far quite yet. Um, we will wish her good healing. How nice that her ex-girlfriend Rose is cheering her up. I'm glad their relationship um, is starting to improve, perhaps. They're getting some nice small talk points and little things like that exchanging pleasantries and whatnot hopefully this this will um gradually improve uh their opinion of each other blitz is fully healed that's amazing got a lot of building to do i'm getting our sewing room ready now that the floors are are in Ooh, awesome. There's a whole bunch of animals to hunt. See, they're coming back. Emerald, hurry up and heal. We need you to do some hunting. Maybe someone else can do some hunting. Let's see. Rose can do some hunting. Amazing. Let's do it. Oh, <laughs> look where the mega sloth is stuck now. Interesting. We're building these walls and it wandered in and got stuck right in here. That is very interesting. It's still doing fine though. I guess there was, I don't know, I wouldn't have thought there would be grass, but there might have been something. Yeah, we'll see. Burgundy is hurt yet again, so I have made this pet space zone and I am going to confine her to it so that she's not gonna go out trying to find wild animals. You're grounded. Power issues. Things are going so well. Not bad, Amelia has done some good hunting for us. She's killed four animals. Uh, Rose, why don't you get the farther one? We'll have Amelia get the closer one since she is a slow walker. Awesome, and then someone can come and get these two. 
We have meat again. Yay! We gotta get some soup on again. Our massive pile is down to only 65 soups. Oh, what? Can they do that? Um, this starving buffalo just destroyed a wall. That was terrifying. Um, I didn't know that could happen. I feel like it's gonna, yeah, do that again. Did you guys know this could happen? I have never seen this, like, ever. Look at that! Oh my god, this is so weird. This is crazy. What? It's just gonna keep going until it is free. Maybe I'll have Amelia do some hunting. Are you back at hunting? Okay. If it's what you wanna do, I guess. Okay, wow, come and hunt this muffalo. That's so weird. Although, mmm. Um, Let's make sure other people are on standby because I don't want it to hurt you. Because you can't run very fast. Um, yeah, maybe Rose can come over and help. Yay, Emerald is fully healed! I guess Amelia will have to give her weapon back. Okay, Rose, can you... Oh, what is happening? Can you use this weapon and attack this Mega Sloth? Thank you. Mm. Oh, yeah, it is going into revenge. Okay, where is... Blitz is nearby and he's fast, so he can come and help. Rose, come on up that way. You got this. Mm. Buffalo, why did you not just starve to death? <laughs> it's weird, it's like it's not doing the revenge behavior. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what all is happening? Also, now our pen is not enclosed because this thing knocked out all these walls. You suck. Look at that! It's like it's standing still. Oh, okay. I jinxed it. Okay. Wow. Well, that was not... that did not go as expected. But we do now have a mega sloth to eat and provide fur. So, yay. Amelia, before you go to bed, drop your weapon. And we'll have M pick it up. Okay, I think I found a solution for the dog. Um, I'm just gonna do this so that if I need things hauled from really far away, it can just kind of run out, grab it, and come back. So hopefully that'll that'll work. Because it's not likely that like an animal will be passing through a small little zone like that. And then it'll decide to go and hunt it. Because and then it won't be able to find it. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Uh, but we shall see. We'll test it out. So many animals are coming back. There's now two little groups of muffalos. There's one that's wandered all the way up here. Go tame it, somebody. There's more little groups of Ibex, and there are still some deer out there to be hunted. Wow, looks like somebody's been getting them. Is that us or is that a wolf? Uh, oh, this is a gunshot. Okay, I guess they, yeah, they got hurt, but they were wandering around. Excellent, thank you. This is great. We are experiencing an abundance of food now that spring is here. So wonderful. Oh, and also a cougar has appeared on the scene. Wow, all this wildlife now in the rainy mountain forest. It's a balmy 14 degrees C. That's actually pretty nice. It was above zero today um, because it is March and it is approaching spring in Canada. Therefore, above zero temps are where it's at, above freezing. Um, and it was lovely. I was like, oh my god, I don't have to like completely bundle up and do like hat and mitts and the whole thing. 
So I went to class and I just had my scarf on, wrapped it around my ears, and it kept me warm enough. Emerald has successfully tamed a muffalo! Yay! It was the close by one. You listened to me. Thank you. Uh, is this fully enclosed? Almost. Rose is going to finish some building. Uh, and then we can move the marker. Excellent. Thank you, Rose. And then I think we'll get Rose back to researching instead of building because Blitz is feeling better. Blitz can do some building. And I think A does a little bit of building as well. Yes. There we go, Rose. You can build this and then your priority will be research. Who needs treatment? A needs treatment? Is it for your asthma or whatever? It is indeed. Okay, eat your meal. No, then come... Oh, I guess you have to rest in your slave bed. Okay, somebody come and tend. Thank you, Rose. Um, by the way, A is gonna let Rose know that, you know, he really likes being a slave. And he has noticed the very queer-friendly environment here. And he is gonna tell Rose, you know, I think I am Envy, Arrow, and Ace. And what pronouns do you prefer, A? And A is happy with pretty much any pronouns because A is a slave. And they have decided, you know what? It's not about me. I am committed to like other people. I live to serve. This is just my life now. And I actually really love it. So any pronoun is fine, even it. I would be happy to be called it. So there we go. Rose can spread the word to the rest of the colonists and let them know. I wonder if Emilia will also have some coming out news for us now that she has been hanging out with the colony for a few days. Speaking of colonist sexualities, last episode um, I was I put a little message there to let people know that I'm planning a special episode. I have done some gay experiments to try to test out how the traits interact with the psychology mod. So here we have the sexuality Kinsey rating and we want to find out um, how the traits kind of interact with that. So if someone's sexuality is um, zero on their Kinsey scale and we make them gay here, will it change their Kinsey number? So stay tuned for that episode coming out soon. It will be with different colonists. I've started a brand new gay experiment colony and I will try to get that episode put together for people soon so that we can have an answer to that question. How does the psychology mod and the sexuality traits interact and do the traits override the psychology Kinsey scale? Uh oh, Cougar Revenge. Oh, what the flip? Burgundy, are you kidding me? I guess even staying close to home, I'm gonna have to like restrict this even further. I might have to like enclose everything and just have her stay within the walls. Who is even awake to protect you? A is, but it is way down here. So we're gonna have to wake up your masters just to come and save you, you little stinker. I don't even know if they're gonna get there in time. <sighs> okay, let's give it a try. Good luck. Our dog may be toast. Let's just bring everyone. Well, okay, I guess not Amelia. She doesn't have a weapon anymore. Okay. Okay, um, cross your fingers, guys, because th this is a very dangerous situation. This is bad. Oh my god. Okay, Ooh, I'm gonna unpause. People are making their way. Will they get there in time to save the dog? A dumb, dumb dog. Ooh. <laughs> That's a lot of blood. Uh, Rose, why do you have a piece of wood? Don't do that. Do this. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Good idea. Do like a run-by shooting. 
Okay, not bad. Okay, we could save our dog. Okay, okay, not too bad. Okay, now it's gonna come after you. So everybody go out this door and then just keep on running. How's the dog? Oh my god. Not good, but alive, which is better than I'd hoped for. Now we gotta keep the colonists alive, please. Okay, did we get it? <gasps> we did it! Our dog is alive and our colonists are all fine. Okay, let's, um, who is the best medic person out of this group? Blitz or Emerald? Let's have Blitz rescue the dog. Okay, he's done. He's on it. He's like, yeah, I'm on it. Gamer mom, you don't need to worry. I know the priorities. Um, and Lyric can haul the cougar. Whew! Thank you. Um... Okay, he's just 10. You don't want to, like, rescue her and, like, bring her to a bed or anything? There. Why don't we do that? That's better, don't you think? Then she'll be here. She'll be in a clean room. You'll have access to nearby medication, like, right here. We need some more herbal meds. We should plant some. Do we have anyone who's advanced enough to plant some? We'll look into that. We can indeed grow heel root. That is awesome. And right beside it, we are going to grow some Tintoria so that we can start messing around with people's looks, dyeing their hair, their clothes, what have you. How's the dog doing? Dog is alive. Dog will be okay. Dog's left eye has been torn out. It already had a cataract in it. I think they both had cataracts. Now the left eye has been torn out. And this one is like 50%, so now it has what, 25% vision? It says 38. I don't know how that's possible. But okay. Nothing else appears to have been torn off. The jaw was already shattered. I am going to further restrict the pet's base zone. You are grounded, Burgundy. You are so grounded. Yes, that's my mom, angry mom voice. So remember all winter when we just kept getting all these guests that we did not want? Just over and over again, an abundance of guests overwhelming us, eating all of our food, trying to sleep even though it was cold. Um, we haven't had guests like all spring and they're not like super mad at us. Um, I don't know what's going on there, you know? Like, hello? Have you no sense of timing, guests? Apparently not. They only want to come to Rainy Mountain Base when it's absolutely miserable. Maybe they perceive it as a winter resort. You know, it's got the pine trees, the birch trees, the mountains. Maybe it's only nice when everything is covered in snow, like all these swamps. I guess I can't blame them for not wanting to look like swampy, you know, it's like spring. Spring in Canada is kind of gross. The snow melts, it's like muddy and slushy everywhere right now. The roads are like horrendously bad. We're like bouncing along like all the potholes that have been created over the winter by like the ice splitting apart the pavement and yeah, I guess I can't blame our guests because um, this is, is not a great environment. But come on, guests. Give us a chance, please. Blitz made a slave collar for A specifically, and then he put it on. Blitz, that defeats the purpose. You're gonna let A wear it instead. Our new animal pen is ready. Rose is bringing over a couple of them now. Maybe she'll grab the last alpaca too. Nope, not yet. Okay, you can go back for him. Baby alpaca is on the way. There we go. 
go. And this is a large pen. It's got a decent amount of nutrition. We may want to plant a bit more grass though. Hey, there we go. Okay, we've got a visitor. I'll take it. You can tell your friends that it's actually quite lovely here in the spring. Um, just please disregard all of the blood on the ground. That will um, wash away with uh, time. Rain and time. Okay, welcome Metber, officer from the Dominion of God. You're a pine maniac. You're a wimp. That's okay. We'll take ya. And we hope you will be happy. Oh, you're already doing some shopping. Amazing. Yes, please. Buy our crappy weapons and crappy clothes. We have finished researching beer brewing. And we are growing hops as we speak. So that'll be really amazing. Make some beer. Sell it to guests. Improve everyone's mood. I think next we're going to work on solar panels. Get some other power sources in here. Okay, it's the end of the day on one of the last days of spring that has gone by really fast. <gasps> Amelia has asked Lyric to hang out with her. <gasps> They're gonna go play chess. That is so cool. Hey, and a party. Blitz is throwing a party. Oh, he's throwing it over here. We shall see what Lyric and Amelia decide to do. I think they're gonna hang out together. That is cool. Well, Amelia actually asked Lyric to hang out with her because, you know, she has something that she would like to say because she's noticed the colony is very queer friendly and she is coming out as lesbian. And Lyric is like, that's amazing. Very cool. Welcome. You are totally welcome to be whoever you want to be here. That is one of the most amazing things about our awesome queer and polyam colony. So there we go. Amelia is a lesbian. We are going to change her character trait here. Boop. Uh, less removed. We want to remove jealous or slow learner. Let's remove slow learner. Jealous has actually kind of been a bit of her personality. She's like swapped bedrooms at least like 10 times. No, I'm kidding. Like three times probably. Um, okay, so gay. They don't actually have lesbian. They just have basically same sex, opposite sex. Kind of annoying, but what can you do? So there we go. So Amelia has made it official. She has come out while hanging out with Lyric. Maybe there will be romance in the air. Oh, yeah. Let's check this. Uh, let's check back on this. See what happens there. Because this apparently means straight. Um, but as our test episode will reveal, um, there may be an effect there. So stay tuned for that. But for now, I am going to leave it here. Looks like they are heading over to the party. That's amazing. Our guest is kind of hanging out too. Did he try to hit on somebody? Did you hit on somebody? Emerald. Emerald turned her back. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> uh... Emerald is by, however. Um, okay, well, as our colonists party and chat about things, which is really adorable, um, I'm going to leave it here and I'm going to say goodbye. I hope everyone is having a great week. Um, happy Pi Day. Monday was Pi Day. It was March 14th, so 3.14 for any math people out there. Um, and I hope everyone is having a great week and a great um, start to like almost spring out there and I hope you have a good weekend ahead and I am sending big queer mom hugs out to everyone and thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you next week take care bye bye